Hey everybody, welcome back. Day number four of the seven day challenge is Joe White from Get Life Coaching. And today is about becoming the you who is needed. Now, how about that for a pretty ambiguous title, right? However, I think by the end of today, you're going to really understand what that means and understand the power. The power of what we're talking about. Because you know what? I think today will be not to scare you, not to shake you up, but to be honest with you, for some of you, if not most of you, today will be one of your hardest, most challenging days. Because each day we kind of dug a little deeper, peeled a little bit more back. And today there, there's nothing more deep <laughs> than what we are inside. And that's what we're going to examine. And maybe recreate, redesign, and, and change where you're operating at to who you are in your heart and your soul. You know, very often when I first meet with a client, they get to a point in the, in the session where they say, Okay, Joe, just tell me what I need to do. And I smile. Because it's never what we need to do. If this came down to what we need to do, we would have figured that out a long time ago. Yeah, like I said yesterday, perception and procedure, and days five, six, and seven are all about procedure. But there's something within us. See, I think very often we live by the, by the paradigm of have, do, be. What do I have to have in my life so I can do what I want to do and then I can be whatever I want to be? See, if I have enough money, I could do all the things I wanted to do, and then I could be happy. If I had the relationship that I want, I could do the things I've always wanted to do. I could love, connect, share, and then I could feel or be loved. If I could just lose weight, then I could do the things I wanted to do, buy the clothes I wanted to buy, attract the person I want to have, and then I could be or feel like I'm successful, like I'm loved, like I'm enough, like I have pride. See, the challenge with all that type of thinking is... We don't want those things for the sake of wanting those things. For example, we don't want money just to have money. We don't want a relationship just to have a relationship. We don't want a career just to have a career. <laughs> now, I know some of you may be thinking, wait a minute, I want money. I understand. But how many times have we looked in history, especially look at the Hollywood or entertainment industry, have people have had everything they wanted? The money, the, the recognition, they had people, the people who loved them, yet they weren't fulfilled inside. See, they had to have, they had to do, but they didn't have to be. See, the very thing that we crave the most is at the end of the journey. So that means the first two components have to fit together perfectly in order for us to get what we want. And I don't know about you, but that's a long way around. That's a lot of waiting. I want to wait for the stars and the moons to align before I get to feel and become truly who I am. So today's about flipping this. Be, do, have. What if in here too we began with the end of mind? Who do I need to be to do the things I want to do to have what I want to have? See, could you be successful even though you haven't created it? Can you see something before it's created? See, look at Mika Angelo. A few years ago, I was fortunate enough to go over to Italy. I was looking at David. And I'm like, what a, a masterpiece. But see, he saw that before anyone else did. He saw that rock <laughs> and he saw David within it even before any other human being's eyes ever laid a glance on it because the force within us the, the be truly is what we call our, our identity our identity of who we are who we are to ourselves and to the world. And the challenge is, very often we don't live by our identity. We operate somewhere other than who we really are. And eventually, we operate there for so long, we forget who we really are. 
And part of this journey is to rediscover it. Because simply, whoever and whatever we say we are, whether successful, happy, joyful, depressed, sad, a loser, undisciplined, a yeller, heavy, a smoker, an alcoholic, an addict, a grateful, someone who's spiritual, whatever we say with emotional intensity and consistently to ourselves, we call that self-talk, right? And to other people, we become. And then we must remain congruent to that. And very often, we, we never sat down and chose this. We never sat down and assembled it or examined it. We never had a class in school called Identity 101. Who do you really want to be and why? 